All right. Good evening, YouTube. Repo Man 64. I wanted to go over those seven days that have been bugging me. And okay. Wanted to show that to you first. <clears throat> As you know, for quite a while now, those seven days have been bugging me. I've been trying to figure it out. But because of the amazing video that uh, Jared Justice put up today with uh, Charles on the Sword of God and Wu, um, I think I figured it out. I spoke a lot with Charles about this, and uh, but I just sat down and put it all on that paper so we could look at it. Um. We start out, first we start out with the raptures, April the 4th. I believe that's accurate. Um, I can't see it happening any other time. Although we're seekers and we're searching and we're not perfect. We're human like anybody else. And uh, But with what Jared put up there and with what Charles has found, uh, basically Charles found it and then Jared just put the icing on the cake. It was, uh, it all, everything, Charles had been saying, lined up perfectly with what uh, Jared found as far as all the blood moons. So, now, with that confirmation, I can do this. And that is that on April the 4th, we're raptured. So, I've always believed that Damascus plays a big part in this as to saying, hey, look, this is about to happen, and it kind of wakes up the bride to, to begin really watching. I mean, we're all watching, but this is really it would be a confirmation. So what I'm seeing is that if we are raptured on April the 4th, you go back three days to April the 1st, and you might see the prophecy of Damascus completely fulfilled. Or if you go back seven days, uh, that was a gentleman that made a comment on my stuff and sent me quite a bit. He's going to kill me because I'm going to forget his name right now. But uh, he'll make a comment and remind me of his name. He'll be in the comment section. So I got oil on my forehead from uh, the anointing we did earlier with Charles. Yeah, it was fun. It was good stuff. Keep the evil away. So anyway, seven days before that, uh, we have the burden of Damascus again. Could happen on March 28th. So I'm looking at March 28th or April 1st as being possibly... Um, the burden of Damascus, so it could happen seven days or three days before the April 4th escape, the calling it the escape. So the things I put on here is because nothing, there's nothing new under the sun. God doesn't change. He repeats things so that we can catch on and see it. And he's done all this before, and he's going to do it all again. So on April the 4th, in 33 AD, Jesus resurrects. There is a record of him hanging around, but there's no record of him for seven days. The first record we have of him is seven days later, where he meets with Thomas in the upper room and tells him to touch him. Remember when they first found him, he told them, don't touch me, for I have not ascended to my father yet. What does that mean? He's going to ascend to his father. He has to ascend to his father. So, um, he ascends to his father. What happens up there for those seven days? There's probably this huge celebration because he's completed the, the most important thing to any Christian on the planet, and that is the payment for our sins. So, we believe that on that same exact day, we're going to be raptured. And it'll be called the escape of the, the of the bride on April the 4th. Seven days later, I believe we're going to be raptured. We're going to be up in heaven with Jesus for seven days. And we're going to have a little reception and everything else and handshaking and meeting and seeing everything and all that. Um, I believe that Jesus went to heaven for those seven days and returned on the eighth day, the eighth great day, uh, to see Thomas where they could now touch him. So, April the 4th, Jesus is in heaven, and he 
comes back here on Earth on April the 11th of 2021 for 33 days. He's going to do those same 33 days now that he did back then. He was in. He went to heaven for seven days, came and saw Thomas on the eighth day, and he spent 33 days with him. How do I know that? I threw the paper away. All right. We have type and imagery of this event happening in the past. If you go, will go to Leviticus 12, 1 through 4, you will see the seven days and the 33 days. It's not a new concept. The 7 and 33 is in there, and it gives us an image of what's going to happen. Um, so let me write this down because I, I rewrote the paper and forgot to write that part down. Leviticus 12, 1 through 4 gives us the 7 plus the 33. Luke 22-20. Luke 22-20 is where the proposal happens. Take this cup. When they were having the Last Supper, I don't know if you missed that or not, on the Last Supper, but when Jesus said, take this cup and drink, drink of this cup, it was a proposal. And everybody there was Galilean, and they understood that when the groom offered the cup, the bride drank and accepted the uh, proposal. So uh, they would have to wait one year. And was, as we learned from the Sword of God tonight, it's 13 years that will be in heaven. The bride cannot be under the age of 14 before they get married back in the Galilean days. They're a little different now, but back then it was the age 14. Um, and he could propose to her when she was 13, just like us. We'll be in heaven for 13 years, and on the 14th year is when the wedding is going to take place. And they showed you that also in the Sword of God. Uh, Jared came up with that, uh, how we're going to have a wedding or an, an engagement ring. Uh, uh, solar eclipse, and then we're going to have a wedding ring solar eclipse exactly one year later. He was uh, missing a few days. I think I found them. I think I know where they're at, and uh, I look forward to talking to him to see if I can show him where those seven days are. At any rate, you go forward 33 days, and it'll bring you to guess what date? Yes, May 14th, 2021, 73 years since Israel became a nation. Somebody was in the chat room talking about, I think May 15th is another blood moon. So isn't that kind of cool? April 4th, I mean, May, I said May, does it May? Yeah, it is. Is it May? Yeah, it is May 14th. So May 14th um, is also when Israel became a nation 73 years ago, leaving them with the seven years of tribulation before the rapture, the actual rapture of the tribulation saints, a great number which no man can count. So when does tribulation begin? Well, you got to give another 10 days. We waited those 10 days for the Holy Spirit, the double measure, to come down uh, from heaven after, after Jesus left. 40, Jesus left after 40 days, and then 10 days later, the uh, the tribulation begins, and that's when the Holy Spirit was set down back in the day. So May 24th, 2021, you see how the dates are beginning to fall on very important things? It's going to open your eyes if something happens on March 28th or April 1st to, in, in Damascus. And, of course, April 4th happens. It's too late. So keep watching. Keep watching. Uh, this is coming. Um, it's very enlightening what I learned on the sword of God. So it's looking more and more every day like it is April the 4th. Everybody has different things um, and uh, slightly different dates, but they're all coming together. I think all of the seekers are going to start coming together and recognize this date right here. Um, they're going to see what Jared found, which is spectacular. They're going to see what Charles had already found quite some time ago. Uh, he knew about the blood moons and everything, but this, what Jared found, just overlaid it perfectly and, and put it in sync, which is what I've been saying all along, that uh, when we get closer to this date, they woke, God woke Jared up at four in the morning and gave this to him. That's amazing. I, I just find that amazing. He put this entire...
timeline together for the past two, you know that those blood moons don't line up like that, have never lined up like that in 2,000 years. The last time they lined up like that was 2,000 years ago, and the only time they reline up like that is now in our time. This is serious, and this is real. Um, like I've always said, you need to go to a quiet place by yourself, pray to God, bring him into your heart, and you'll start seeing the changes in your life. Are you going to be perfect overnight? Uh-uh, I'm not. Um, there's a lot of things that took me a while to get rid of. Now I can't even believe I ever had interest in them. It, it's, it's just the way it works. Uh, you'll start recognizing sin for what it really is, and you're not going to walk around going, well, everybody else is doing it. Well, they said it's okay. Yeah, that, that's not what's in the Bible. The Bible says it's not okay, and you have to recognize it for what it actually is. It is sin, and you need to cut it out of your life. And uh, you have but a short time left. Um, I left a note and a bunch of water, a bunch of water. I left a note, a, a lot of notes for whoever finds what's here in my house. And I explained to them, yeah, it's a scary time you're in, but it's not over. You still get to go to heaven. You still can go to heaven into paradise. If you'll just kneel down in, and I wrote it on the paper, just like I'm telling you, kneel down in a quiet place and ask Jesus to come into your heart and he'll start doing the work. There's nothing we can do. We aren't special. Um, it's the work of God in our hearts that change us and fix us and make us walk in the right path and recognize sin for what it is. Um, so I wanted to give you those dates. It's looking good. It's looking good. I'm excited. I've been waiting for this for over 30 years. You know, I've been looking for this and trying to figure this out for over 30 years. And I've been there for all the dates. And I still think when we get to heaven, all those dates are going to mean something, which is why you'll never catch me scoffing at anybody who came up with a date that wasn't accurate. Because I have a feeling that they all meant something. Unless you were just doing a date to get, like, people interested in your site, which is, like... I can't even believe you do that. But anyway, if you're genuinely seeking the face of God, um, he will reveal very important things to you. And while we might misinterpret it as the escape, it could have been something extremely important that happened even in heaven that we haven't sensed or know about, you know. So just keep watching, brothers and sisters. The day is quickly approaching, and I couldn't be more excited. All right, YouTube, I should write this down. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And there's another one I heard on uh, EDV, Dreams and End Times, Dreams and Visions. Ring that bell for critical updates. We'll talk to you later, YouTube. Night.